Okay, I have to step out for a couple of minutes. Thanks so much for letting me watch. Watch, don't touch. No, I'm gonna man it. I'm I'm not gonna touch a thing. You just have okay. a good, you know, break. Hi, it's the Laurel and Tyler Thompson show. <laughs> wow. Okay, don't touch anything. Okay, um, Okay, we're taking your calls today about fashion tips and uh, the latest fall colors. We'd like to start getting our, our lipstick colors together now because you, you never can tell when suddenly it's spring and then you, you haven't gotten anything together. You don't have the right blush. You look hideous. Another good topic, ladies, is why are our husbands so quiet? We want to talk about our feelings and they just want to talk about sports. I mean, might as well be married to Mark Washington if that's all you want to talk about. And I want to just tell you about a new Aerogel hairspray that I've been using. That it actually um, mm, smells great, keeps your hair loose yet. We gotta get her off the air. We're gonna lose our jobs. Put in place, and it's great for those flyaways. And my arches are actually starting to fall, and I don't necessarily think that that's a good thing. Because when your arches fall, what you don't get them What are you doing in there? Back. You're done. You're off the air. Do you look and say, wow, I am a special creature. You know, created for greatness. Someone who's really going to accomplish something in life. Let's, let's talk about a few things that are interesting to all of you out there. And not just what Bill wants to talk about all the time. Let's talk about nail colors. Let's talk about hairspray. Ladies. Let's talk about getting a pedicure. We gotta cut this off, you gotta cut her off. One of the things in the latest uh, Oprah magazine that I'd like to talk about is um, be more fluorescent. Oh, sorry, be more effervescent. I don't know what that would mean, be more fluorescent. I can't believe this. Making your life significant and what that means. We're taking your calls at 604. Shoot, what's the number? Heath, what, what's the number uh, that callers should call? But you're not really supposed to be on the air. Could I have some coffee? Now, before Bill gets back, let's talk about making your life significant. This is just insane. Let's talk about getting that haircut. What, what about that hairdresser who cuts whoa, our whoa, hair? Whoa. This isn't a show about haircuts and nails. This is okay. the Bill Good Show. We talk serious politics back, here. Back to commercial break. Well, we don't talk about lipstick and hairspray on here. This is the Bill Good Show. Well, Craig. We're trying to take Bill's job. You know, it's not about Bill's job. It's actually your job. Bill doesn't usually talk about, you know. Stockings? Who cares about stockings? Does the pill kill your sex drive? I mean, there's there's a good topic. Well, that is a good topic. Eh? Yeah. This is all about the latest colors for lipstick. Okay, you're going to have to get your own show some your... other time. You're not going to hijack the show here. Do you see a place where I might be fitting in then? Maybe not Bill's show, but somewhere else. Co op radio? Sure. Where are they? Uh, downtown east side. Okay, wow. All right. Well, that's cool then. Um, well, don't spray that in here. Just, Bill's, Bill's coming back in here. Don't okay. Do that. I was just trying to make the show better. What are you going to do to if be I honest. lose my job? That would be great. Oh my gosh. I really, you know what? If I just, if I can't get Bill's job, if I got yours, that would be even better. You know? This is just, a hijacking like, of the process. Just take your lipstick and your hairspray and leave. Okay, here. Hug, hug. Okay. All right. You're special. Okay. Wow, so uptight. You're listening to the Bill Good program on CKNW News Talk 980. Once again, here is Bill Good. This is Red Robin. Good morning, Bill Good. Show what's your name? Okay, right. So, what are you doing right now, Bill? I'm just preparing to uh, talk to Michael Volpe of the Globe and Mail about Michael Ignatra. Okay, I've got something that will help you. Just a little powder. Uh, so the thin, yeah. This is radio. Okay. There you go. I don't need powder. Okay. All right. In a place neither near. No, I sure as hell don't need lipstick. Okay. Well, just a little shine. I'll just uh, watch you um, and learn. Hello? Are, are we on or? No, we're not. Okay. Now, these buttons over here. Don't touch them. Okay. Where's the on air? It's right here. I push that, oh. I'm on the air. If I want to talk to my producer, I hit this and I can speak through the glass to Heath. Hi. Hello? Yeah. He's not paying any attention to you. Yeah. Hello? But you'd have to be speaking into the microphone. Push the button. Hi, please pay attention. What? Oh. Hi, please pay attention. 
And what is this button? It says a cough button. Yeah, well, if I have to cough or clear my throat, I can push that, and it kills my mic, but it doesn't interfere with any of the other mics. Oh, so while you're on air, you yeah. can you can do yeah. that. And when I want to bring up a phone call, I just see the check mark on there? Oh, yes, yeah. Well, that means that's the next call to go to. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I could conceivably air. take some calls and... Um, that, that would depend on me getting out of the chair, though, and leaving. Right. And I'm not doing that. Yeah. Okay. All Again. right. Again. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Do you need more coffee? That I would could... be lovely. All right. Sure. Um, where's your producer? I'll get him to... Do you like it no, just my... black? I like it just black. Okay. But my producer doesn't get me coffee. Oh. If I get you coffee, could I be your producer? Uh, no. Okay. Well, I'll still get it. Here again is Bill Good. Michael Volpe is a senior writer with the Globe and Mail, and uh, he joins us now. Uh, Michael, thanks for doing this. You're welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm well. Now, I know Michael Ignatieff is a journalist. Uh, uh, my impression is he has uh, learned the craft of uh, being a politician. He's a quick study. He's uh, effective in question period now, much less prone to gaffes than he was when he first uh, came back from uh, his life abroad and in the United States. Does he pose quite a serious threat to the Prime Minister? He strikes me as somebody who can certainly stand up to him in the House. Yeah, he can stand up to him. I mean, you know, my personal feeling is there's not a lot. There's not, well, they can't hear that. They're, no, they're not can't. exactly the same person. Uh, but but uh, they're pretty much, uh, they all, you know, uh, I think, a, you know, majority of the Canadians don't want to come back to separate, including you and me. Yep. And in one sentence, we say we don't want to come back to separate. But the next sentence, Hi, we Colin. say we don't like those people. Like 